Hey guys, how's it going? I just had a couple of questions from uh, some fellow YouTubers and, and other people um, in the amateur community asking how I've enabled the triple beep on my um, Motorola XTS and XTL 5000 radios. So that's um, that's this beep when you key the radio up. That's, um, that's the triple beep that you get um, that you would typically hear if you were working on a P25 trunked system. Um, so that tone is called the torque permit tone. Uh, it essentially uh, is telling you that um, you have permission to go ahead and speak on the network. Um, as I said, typically you'd hear that on a, um, on a P25 trunked network, but it is possible to enable it on your on your p25 um, radio when using it for amateur purposes uh, but there are a couple of um, of requirements um, that need to be met for, for this to work uh, I just want to go through those first of all before I uh, explain how to turn it on um, the first requirement is that you have to be using a an XTS or XTL 5000 um, I have not been successful in enabling this on a 3000. Uh, I couldn't tell you if it would work with a 2500. Essentially, for this to work, your radio must have the DVRS, Delta Victor Romeo Sierra, option enabled on it. And uh, that's only enabled on a, an XTL or XTS 5000 radio, and only if your, your radio has been licensed for it as well. Um, secondly, you need to be working with uh, what's known as a Quanta or newer repeater. Um, Quantar is a, a Motorola P25 based uh, repeater. Now there's a number of Quantar repeaters here in Sydney uh, at the moment. There's one in the CBD on top of Governor Phillips Tower. There's one out at Horsley Park. Um, there's one up at Asquith that a fellow um, amateur of mine runs and um, a fellow friend runs. And uh, I believe there's one towards Goulburn now as well. Um, there's, there's several spread around um, the country as well and in various states. Um, <clears throat> For, for this to work, though, and for you to get the triple beep, you must be talking to a Quantar repeater. If you're thinking about trying to get the triple beep to work when you key up talking to your um, <coughs> talking to your home hotspot, uh, that's not going to work. It's also not going to work in analog mode or if you're talking to another another radio, not via a, um, a Quantar repeater. So th those things are, are vital for this to work. Um, if you're if you're satisfied that you meet those requirements, here's how you turn it on on your radio. So you're going to need to read your radio first of all, read the code plug, um, go to conventional, expand that out, expand out Astro Systems, and then Astro System, uh, and then just select the Astro System that you've configured for your um, zone and talk group and channel. You're going to need to go to the DVRS tab. Uh, if that tab doesn't show up for you, it means that your radio is incompatible and this won't work. So to turn this on, you need to turn on DVRS operation enabled, first of all. That enables this feature. Um, essentially, what you're turning on here is the ability for the radio to talk to what it thinks is a vehicle-based repeater system. So a repeater that would sit inside of a vehicle, um, typically at a, uh, at a scene. Um, so we're essentially tricking the radio. Um, we also need to turn on the talk permit tone as well. So that's the Motorola triple beep that you hear um, when you key the radio up. It sounds like this. And lastly, we need to turn on TA when no DVRS comms. So essentially that allows the radio to communicate still, even though it's unable to, um, to communicate with the DVRS uh, box because of course the DVRS box in our scenario doesn't exist. Um, now, the number below it is quite important. Um, this is the number of retries that your radio will try and make prior to giving up. Uh, I've set this to three. Any lower than that, if you're quite far from the repeater, there's a chance that uh, your radio will time out and give you a beep sound um, prior, to, uh, prior to you transmitting. So I'll just let you know what that sounds like. I'll just key up on my XTL 5000 here a moment. You'll be able to hear what that sounds like. So you hear the, hear the long tone. And then you get that ringing noise as well. And the ringing noise means that uh, you're too far from the repeater. It can't hear you. Um, so I'd recommend setting that to no lower than three. Once you've set those three options there, write the config back to the radio, boot it up, and then change to your repeater channel, key up. And as long as the repeater can hear you and there's no one else talking, you'll get those three triple beeps. That's how you enable it. 
All right, if anyone has any questions, uh, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. But thanks for watching. Until next time.